Communities would like to know about the condition of the water that they drink from, especially the freshwater springs, because there are times during the year that the pipe water supply is turned off or the pipe water is not available and then they drink mainly from the freshwater spring. There are also uh, families or communities that although they have the uh, pipe water supply, they still drink from the freshwater springs. With funding assistance from the New Zealand National Commission for UNESCO, uh, I was able to uh, work with uh, experts from Massey University through the UNITWIN projects on further uh, water quality assessments using more scientific uh, methods. There are lots of different ways to assess water quality. You can look at the chemicals, you can look at the DNA, but you can also look at the animals which are living in the water. And so the animals which live there are indicative of what the conditions are like. Some animals live, need really clean water to survive. Other animals can survive in very low quality water. So all around the world, people use the little uh, critters and bugs that live in those streams to see how good the water quality is. In Samoa, we went out and sampled some of the waterways, collected some of the shrimps and mollusks which are living there, some really cool ones like the little lollipop shrimp, brightly coloured animal. It only really lives in quite clean water. There was other sites that we went to where there weren't very many of the shrimps around, there were mainly some of the mollusks, and they can, they're pretty hardy kind of animals and they can survive in much lower water quality. And so what we've done is we've tried to put that together into a, a biological index of water quality. Um, it's kind of preliminary at this stage, and so we want to do more work to try and look at a wider range of streams in Samoa so that we can come up with a fairly easy way that um, scientists or even citizen groups or local communities can go out, sample these uh, animals which are living in their waterways that they probably know a lot about but never thought about using to indicate water quality. And from that, they can tell whether the water's fairly safe in terms of whether you can swim or whether you can drink it. Um, hopefully that'll be backed up with some of the DNA work that Peter Lockhart's doing and some of the nutrient assessment that Patella and her team are doing as well. And so we'll have a, a good overview of the ecological health and the human health aspects of the, that water quality. The, the hope is that uh, we will be able to produce tests that are readily, uh, readily usable by others. And, um, so they don't need, they don't need a, a well-equipped research lab, they don't need uh, scientists from, from somewhere else to, to help them know the, the state and health of their rivers and springs. As a Samoan, it means a lot to me to, um, to be able to work with this project. I will be doing further research or further um, field work on the sampling of invertebrates um, to carry on the preliminary work from Dr. Death and Dr. Lockhart. It will benefit the community in terms of managing the, and monitoring their own water um, with the tools that we have provided. And it will also give me the opportunity to go back home and work with my people. I'm very excited about this project because it involves learning and sharing of skills and knowledge with uh, experts here in New Zealand and then relaying the knowledge and information that we learn to our communities in Samoa.